So just to save you about 15 minutes or so about me ranting and raving how much I loved this movie, Christopher Nolan has absolutely just hit this out of the park. Going into this film, I'm actually quite ashamed to say I didn't actually know much about this whole situation, about the Manhattan Project. I knew obviously the basics, little things taught in school, but not, not really the big overall story. With that, obviously much about the man Oppenheimer himself. But coming out with this film, I feel like, I know obviously of course with biopics and movies and things, they take a bit of liberties in terms of the truth because to make it all that more interesting for the three hour long movie that would do get you. But I think Christopher Nolan has just done so well in keeping the story really quite realistic and overall truthful to the actual story of this man and the creation of this just extraordinary thing. I mean, we've really just got to start off here with Cillian Murphy. I am mean, like literally so incredibly outstanding. Words can't do justice to how amazing this guy has done in this role. I mean, you can just really tell that Cillian Murphy pretty much became Robert Oppenheimer in the making of this movie. Just every down to the clothes, the mannerisms, the way that he's like standing there with his suit. I mean, not just him, the movie is absolutely filled with just so many incredible actors that I didn't even know were actually in the movie. There's just so many amazing people popping in throughout this film. Some of them, are not even that much, just in the background, not even huge on the story. I mean, you've got these amazing actors like Rami Malek in Florence Pugh, Emily Blunt. And the list just really goes on. Again, Robert Downey Jr., Matt Damon. What I also like that Christopher Nolan does is showing the two different perspectives and characters' stories, such as Strauss, played by Robert Downey Jr., and, of course, Cillian Murphy's Robert Oppenheimer. And I don't know, you can just feel with Strauss's black and white point of view, it just feels a little bit more dirty and something's just not quite right there that he's telling. Now, I've heard a lot of people do say that the movie is long, and I think, of course, that's a very fair point, that running in there at three hours. Don't get us wrong, I feel the three hours, but everything in here is just... I can't imagine anything being taken out because everything is just so integral to the story. Now, I was quite surprised that once we reached this, like, kind of big point of the creation of the atomic bomb, I kind of thought we were near in the end. But, I mean, a second movie essentially comes in at play with the whole trial and everything, the bit of political ongoings, honestly what Nolan's done in the, like, this recreation of the, an atomic bomb of what it would be like was really, truly mesmerising and breathtaking. When the whole thing was going off, I was expecting some absolutely huge explosion, but it's all just very quiet, and you just can't believe what you're seeing on the screen. And just another thing that I feel Cillian Murphy has just done so well, getting across how haunted this man is and what he realises he's actually just created and him having to live with the fact that he's created this kind of monstrosity that as we can see in our times today the chaos and just the danger of what we could potentially create again i know a lot of people talk about christopher nolan's like sound design and everything everything's just so loud you can't hear people talking at times personally I, again i can see i understand where they're coming from but again just for me in this film I just didn't find it. I was actually trying to listen out. Like, is this going to get too loud here? Am I going to be able to hear? And yeah, I just, I just didn't really find that an issue. Same with Tenet as well. I definitely heard it a bit more, but again, it just it wasn't really distracting for me. So I didn't find it that much of a problem. I mean, honestly, I wasn't joking at the start. Like, I could go 15 minutes about just, again, what I love about this film. But I really just wanted to talk a little bit about this film because it is the first time in a long time that I've been excited to go to the cinema and see a new film. And this did not let me down whatsoever. Again, going into the movie, realizing... And just a quick little mention of Tenet, because the man, Christopher Nolan, he has some insane things going on in his head with like Inception and Tenet. The very impressive, Interstellar, another one. But I think I was really rooting for the guy just to make a bit more of a condensed story again, like just about a human being. And I think this is just the nail on the head and I would just love to see more from him like this before we go off into the craziness of like Inception again. If you haven't already, make sure that you go and check Oppenheimer out on the biggest screen possible. 
And if you have seen it, please do let us know down below because I would absolutely love to hear other people's thoughts on the movie. And do you know a lot about this whole story itself? Because I would like to be, I'm interested in knowing how truthful this whole thing is. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm going to be heading back home now because I'm getting soaked, but I had to talk about this film. And again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, see you later.